to another episode of Crazy Delicious Cooking. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Lewis. And on this episode, we're making, say it with me now, cheesy, cheesy garlic, garlic parmesan, parmesan, spinach, spinach spaghetti, spaghetti, squash. squash. <laughs> cheesy garlic parmesan spinach spaghetti squash. Woo! Woo! That's a mouthful. a mouthful, it is. But I've made it before and it is so so delicious. So if you're looking to cut out some carbs and substitute spaghetti squash for pasta, this is the recipe for you. Are we ready to get started? Yes. Let's go. So as always, the very first thing we need to do is preheat our oven and Lewis is going to do that for us. It is preheated to 400. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And the next thing we're going to do is prepare our spaghetti squash. So we are having this as a dinner and I'm not going to have leftovers um, because we already have leftovers for tomorrow. So this is going to be good for two people. I like to eat a whole side just by itself. I'm not going to have any other thing with this. So one side per person. So if you have four people, you probably need to get two spaghetti squashes. Okay. And what we're going to do is just Slice this down the middle and take the seeds out. All of these ingredients, this was for our sauce, and we will prepare that a little bit later. I'm just going to move that to the side. Now, don't forget on your spaghetti squash, if there's a little sticker from the store, be sure to take that off. You definitely don't want that roasting in your oven. So, Louis is just going to slice this long ways, straight down the middle, and crack it open. Perfect. Now, here's a little trick. If you don't have a strong man like Lewis at home, <laughs> and you're a little bit weak, you can go ahead and actually put your spaghetti squash in the microwave and make it much easier to cut. So if you want to use our microwave method, what you're going to do is you're going to just take a fork and stab your spaghetti squash, you know, while it's whole, stab your spaghetti squash with a fork so it doesn't explode in your microwave. And then you're going to put in your microwave for about three minutes, maybe four to five if you have a bigger spaghetti squash. But once it's in the microwave, it's going to be a lot easier to get that knife through, which is what we should have did today. But like I said, if you have a strong man like Lewis at home, he'll be fine. <laughs> all right. And then we're just going to take a spoon and get all the seeds out of the middle. And just like that, your two halves of your spaghetti squash are nice and clean on the inside. What we're going to do next is we're going to get a tray and we're going to line it with foil and take some olive oil and rub it on both sides, on the inside and on the outside of our spaghetti squash. Now for this, you don't necessarily have to line it with foil, but I always like to line my trays for easier clean. All right, so go ahead and place your spaghetti squash right on the tray and then Louis is going to get us our olive oil. You're going to roll your sleeves up for this a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to drizzle the olive oil right on the inside and then rub it around with our hands. So oh, just kind of make sure that gets all over here. So you can be generous with this. We're roasting it. You don't want it to get dry. All right, and then you're just going to flip it over. Just do a little bit on the outside. So you really don't have to cover your spaghetti squash with another piece of foil if you don't want to, but I prefer to because it kind of just steams them really nice in there. So I'm going to take another piece of foil, probably to fold it together, um, and just completely cover my spaghetti squash right here. So they're kind of steaming in there. All right, this looks perfect. We're going to go ahead and pop these in the oven for 40 minutes. And then at about the 30 minute mark, we're going to go ahead and start making our sauce. So let's go ahead and put these in our preheated oven. All right, 40 minutes on the timer. We'll be back soon. Our spaghetti squash is just about finished in the oven. So we're going to go ahead and start on our sauce. 
So we have a saucepan here on the stove. I'm just going to turn it on to about medium high. I'm going to drizzle some olive oil right in the pot. Just make sure you have enough there. And then we are going to take a little bit of garlic and kind of put it in our saucepan just a little bit. It is, after all, cheesy garlic parmesan spinach spaghetti squash. <laughs> so <laughs> don't skimp out on the garlic. If you don't like garlic, you can, of course, leave it out. But then it's not really the same recipe. Okay, we're just going to let this kind of saute for a couple minutes. Make sure you're not burning your garlic here. Okay, that is heating up just fine. I'm going to do a half cup of heavy cream. Carefully. Just pour that right in. Okay. And then I'm going to do a tablespoon of cream cheese. You can leave the cream cheese out if you want, but this definitely adds something to it. So you might want to just do a tablespoon. Add that in. Yummy. Melt that down. And then you're going to do a half cup of Parmesan cheese. And we're going to add a little bit more later for the top, but we'll just add this in for now. So just stir that around till it gets all combined, your cream cheese melts. And we have about three minutes left on the spaghetti squash. It should be perfect timing. We will take our spaghetti squash out and then put our cheesy sauce on top. going to turn it down a little bit and you want to probably keep stirring your sauce just because you don't want it to burn and then at the very end we're going to add our spinach in. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. These new salt and pepper shakers we got. I'm so happy we finally got them. All right if you get us the spinach Lewis Add that right in, and it's going to wilt down. We have two minutes left. Are we going to need the whole bag? No, we only want about five ounces. So there is... Five ounces. Okay. There's, well, there's six ounces in here. I don't know. Just kind of yeah, throw it in your sauce. They all, they all boil down to nothing. Okay. So it's fine. Wilt this spinach down. remove it from the heat and then let's go ahead and get this spaghetti squash out. Looks pretty good. Now you need to be really really careful in this next part. You can wait till it cools or you can use tongs and flip it over. Oh, that looks good. Perfect. Okay. And you're going to turn your oven down to 375, so this has to go back in. Okay, so all you're going to do is just take a fork and go ahead and just break up your spaghetti squash a little bit. This helps if you have an assistant too, because it's going to be really, really hot. Just kind of break that up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just You just want to let it get the sauce kind of all in there. Do the other one here. Just be really careful. All right, and here comes the fun part. You're gonna take your sauce and you're gonna spoon it right in your spaghetti squash, and we're gonna pop this back in the oven for another 20 minutes or until it's nice and bubbly. So I'm gonna just take some of my spinach and put it in here. Put it in each one. Take your sauce and just pour it right in there, a little bit on each. Kind of make sure it's even. Okay. And you can add a little bit more Parmesan. You can add mozzarella on top. Let's go ahead and sprinkle it with a little bit more Parmesan first. I 
and then add your mozzarella. Like I said, you are going to bake this another about 20 minutes until, or until it's just really nice and the cheese is bubbling. You can really be generous with the cheese here. Don't be shy. <laughs> you're being healthy by not eating pasta, but then you're adding cheese. <laughs> yeah. So it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so it's on 375, pop it back in the oven, like I said, for about 20 minutes. You can always turn the broiler on to get it nice and bubbly and a little bit crispy on top at the very end. So just pop this back in. Go ahead, Louis. And now we wait. It's a little bit of a process, I know, but it's going to be worth it. Don't worry. I'm really hungry. Louis is really hungry. It is delicious. So... Have a little patience with this recipe, and we promise it's going to come out super yummy, and you won't be disappointed. All right, we are taking it out. Got to be a little bit fast when you're using the broiler. Ooh, that looks good. It looks so good. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and carefully plate this up. So as you can see, we are pretty hungry now, and we are ready to eat our cheesy garlic parmesan spinach spaghetti squash. <laughs> Woo! Again, it's a mouthful, but it's delicious. So thank you for joining us on another episode of Crazy Delicious Cooking, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! We have to say it together then. Okay, what is it? Cheesy, Cheesy garlic, garlic parmesan, parmesan spinach spaghetti, spaghetti squash. squash. We'll be back in just a few minutes. We have our commercial. Hello everyone. I almost forgot to put the spinach in this because you didn't get it out. Uh, Did you realize cold. that? What if we didn't put the spinach in? Oh my god, I'm be so angry. <laughs> you can't rely on me on this, on this thing. Obviously. God! What? Rude? Oh my god, are you getting mad? That was rude. Are you getting mad for real? That was rude. <laughs>